let's not waste any time getting into this one. Second game of the series against the Toronto Raptors. And our first possession, giving it down to Julius Randle. Spin move. Putting it up. Misses. Offensive rebound. Going to put it up one more time. Offensive rebound. Cornet. One more time. Blocked. So Toronto making things a little bit tougher down low in this game in comparison to the last, the last one. Now, this is one spot that, like I mentioned last game, we're going to struggle a lot in with those floaters by these Raptors players, man. I don't know what the hell is the tendency there, but they keep doing floaters on us, and they keep working. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Now, once again, we're going to go out to Luke Cornette here, right wing three, and that's good starting off on a good note, just like how he was last game. We're going to continue to take advantage of that. Julius ran on the post here against Siakam bullying him for the two points Lowry controlling the fast break for Toronto puts up the long two so things are a little bit more back and forth like how we were seeing in the second half of the last game and right here Damian Dotson on the fast break look at this Dotson getting to the rack getting on the scoreboard early now RJ Barrett with Van Vliet on him and said yeah we're not gonna wait that long to exploit the mismatch this time around a little bit more back and forth Toronto giving us a little bit more of a challenge here look at the lob up to Damian Dotson who's running on the fast break he has a very high speed rating which I just discovered not too long ago so we're definitely going to try to take advantage of that Kevin Knox he pops a three and puts it in Knox once again on the drive beautiful play to get Terrence Ross open on the right wing for the three Todd Gibson with the ball and I don't know what the hell Terrence Ross is going doing right there but eventually he drives to the rack and puts in the N1 now Stanley Johnson right here I don't that play in the corner always kind of kills us for some reason on the baseline Knox filling the lane green light layup 33 32 here Rudy Gay pulling up on the fast break for three and now the game it's been pretty entertaining so far in this first half three minutes left to go Fred Van Vliet once again another floater I don't know what to do about those some guy named Matt Thomas who I don't even know exists if he exists or not he hits that and while we see Dotson wide open on the fast break in the corner so we're going to take advantage of that hit him for the open three Randall once again bullying down low on Siakam now Siakam might be a great offense player but he can't stop right on the defense 42 to 46 Julius Randall with 11 and 9 so far at halftime now this is a very important point in the game as right here on the top right I realize that RJ Barrett only has four points so I'm like, you know what, we got we to gotta do a bit more with RJ here. He had a great game last game, so I take the step back jumper over there over Siakam. Once again, going to the rack, and RJ hits the nice animation, gets the nice animation, hits the layup. Fred Van Vliet, though, says, all right, let me get a three-pointer and stop this a little bit. But RJ comes right back and matches it. Green light top of the key three for him. Once again, going to the basket with RJ. He stops and pops from the mid-range area. 57 to 50. RJ Barrett with the ball once again with Van Vliet on him. Said, you want to move out the way. Move out the way. We're going straight to the basket. Bullying Fred Van Vliet for the layup. Now, Van Vliet, he's doing a pretty solid job of trying to keep the Raptors in it. We have a little bit of a tough time guarding the smaller guards because we're just not as quick as them. But the same goes for us where they can't guard our taller, stronger guards. And now, like I said, they're a little short, laterally quick type of guys. They're going to be able to get to the basket pretty easy and continue to hit floaters for some reason. I don't know why they only take floaters. But RJ getting to the basket, draws the foul from Marcus Solko. So, if you haven't realized, quickly he has got 19 points all of a sudden after having four, 15 straight points to start off the quarter for RJ Barrett, all of our points, then Randall scores right here, Luke Cornette scores, so 61 to 70, we're bringing up a solid lead here, RJ once again pull up mid-range shot, 21 points on the night for him, and now throwing it up to Julius Randall for the lob, that's a beautiful play by RJ Barrett, and let's try one more time my god where did all this come from all of a sudden just dominating with rj barrett he has 23 points on the night when he started off this quarter with four and rudy gay just kind of doing his rudy gay thing where he hits a bunch of tough shots and that's like only the only shots i ever hit with him but hey here comes rudy once again now i like that pick and roll there for him and terrence for so if they're on the floor at any time i'm gonna try to run that now there goes Taj gibson with the offensive rebound and <laughs> i realized that marcus all just died so i take advantage of that and well Eventually, we'll figure out that he'll be out for a couple of weeks, so he's probably going to miss the rest of this series. Now, Pascal Siakam, he puts in that shot, and well, we're going to have a tough time guarding Siakam, honestly, because Randall's in the greatest defender. Good move there by Rudy Gay, but Todd Gibson gets the buck in the most Todd Gibson way ever. Six minutes left in the game, 88 to 80, or 82 to 88. Rudy Gay driving, finishes the dunk despite the Siakam late attempt to contest it, and well, RJ Barrett. What are you going to do about this? They play way too high up. 4.30 left in the game. And we take a three-point lead here. RJ Barrett for three. Speaking of threes. 
So now that Fred Van Vliet, he's trying to keep the Raptors in the game, takes the pull up, or I should say the floater again, as always. And now Siakam for three. So this thing's far from over. 96 to 95 Raptors lead. And oh yeah, they're at the bottom. We see that Mark Sells out for one to two weeks. And RJ to the rack once again. Lowry, your help defense is not going to do anything about that. Although the saying goes on the other end, we can't stop Lowry because I don't know, man. Now Siakam goes to the basket, puts in the dunk. So we're still down by three. And I'm starting to get a little bit scared here because, I mean, 147 left. Luke Cornette, come on, help us out. Oh my God. All right, all right. I guess we kind of miss Mitchell Robinson's defense if Cornette can't hit touch shots. Hey, shout out to Playoff Lowry for finally being here and missing a shot. RJ Barrett, no contest there from Sergi Ibaka. He doesn't even try. He kind of dunks on his own teammate, Luke Cornette. And, well, Siakam going to the basket with a slasher takeover. I had to foul him. So he would hit both free throws. And now there goes Julius Randle coming to the basket. So he's still putting in an impact offensively despite him getting cooked on the defense. We needed a stop there, and we couldn't get it. 40 seconds left going to the basket with RJ. He throws it over to Julius Randle. So now we're down by one point with a few seconds or 30 seconds left to go. And we need another stop. Of course, we can't get it because Julius Randle gets cooked on the defensive end once again. But here goes RJ Barrett. Green light three pull up. Incredible showing we're seeing here from my RJ Barrett. And now 106, 106 or 15 seconds left to go. Van Vliet could have shot a couple times there, but he did not. We already know Rondé can't do anything. He throws it over to Kyle Lowry. Step back three. Red contest. Rudy Gay with the rebound up to Damian Dotson over to RJ, RJ Barrett in the corner Rudy Gay oh we missed that shot it's 106 106 end of regulation we're going to OT Pascal Siakam continue to not be able to stop him you'll rarely ever see a Luke Cornette post up but since he has OG and Anobi on him here at center for whatever reason I don't know RJ Barrett making breaking down the defense going to the basket right by Van Vliet beautiful finish by RJ and once again RJ a block here a beautiful contest here and he gets the rebound up on the fast break down to Julius Randle who hits the layup over Siakam I can't really ever be mad at Randle even if he doesn't play good defense because well like his offense is just always there for the most part so RJ Barrett you see the backcourt violation by Rondé and now RJ Barrett once again on the offensive and spin jump shot over Van Vliet he can't do anything to stop RJ. He has 39 points with a minute 55 left to go in OT. A steal here by Terrence Ross. RJ Barrett off the backboard. And even though he bobbled at the end, that was still pretty by RJ. I don't care what you say. I, I don't... RJ Barrett, it's still 116 to 110. It's far from over because Pascal can't be stopped by Julius Randle. And 112, 116 now. Running the pick and roll player, pick and fade with Luke Cornette. And RJ goes to the basket. Green light over Van Vliet. Once again to the basket for RJ. 110 left and he hits the layup. We're up by six. It's 114 to 120. Somehow Pascal hits that, which I feel like I've said way too many times in this OT. And RJ Barrett frees up on the pick and roll. So we're up by six and there goes Rondé doing exactly what we don't want him to do which is the only thing he can do and RJ Barrett he can do everything we've kind of figured that out at this point and now Fred Van Vliet puts up a stupid three we're up by six RJ Barrett goes to the line for his 50th I feel like a second ago I said he had 39 all of a sudden he has 51 points on the night and that's it for this game we win game two of the series at the Garden. Once again, the confetti, the streamers, whatever you want to call it, coming down from the arena. 51 points and 11 assists on 22 for 34 attempts. A hell of a lot of shot makes and attempts there for RJ Barrett, but I'm not complaining. 23 points and 17 rebounds for Randall. A very solid game for him, even though Siakam did get the better of him in this game. And overall, a solid performance from a bunch of people. I would have liked to see a little bit more from Kevin Knox. But yeah, like I said, Siakam, got to give his props to him because... That was just an incredible game from him. I mean, we couldn't stop him or any of the floaters from any other player on the team. Now, you're about to see that we actually hopped directly into game three because, well, I didn't feel like wasting a whole episode on this game right here. This game was a lot of the same in this past game from us offensively, but we got a lot more easy shots and they didn't do as much aside from floaters because, of course, that's the only thing they can do. And, well, like I said, I didn't feel like wasting a whole episode on this game. It was just boring for the most part honestly it was a lot of dominance although i mean look at that i mean up another alley from rj barrett to himself julius randall and one play so i didn't feel like wasting time on that game we kind of just went through it and then the same goes for game four i just threw it into this one look at this 78 89 i was sim casting it to try to get the series over with and well 
we're gonna hop into this one and try to make the comeback now rj barrett already hit a three as i say that rj barrett another dunk there rj barrett another three here so <laughs> we already made the comeback as i say that but now driving to the lane with rj here my god pascal didn't stand a chance and then once again they just they just don't know how to guard him but at the end of the day, Kyle Lowry, for some reason, the CPU, before I even took control of him, gave him way much, way too much room. RJ going to the rack again, down to Randall. We're down by one with 26 seconds left to go, and well, they would hit the free throws. Another dunk by RJ, and eventually, RJ Barrett wide open in the corner to tie the game, and that's off. So, we'd actually go on to lose game four, even though I made the late game comeback. So, I mean, Toronto gets their streamers for that one, but I'm happy to say that eventually... And yes, I just packed that all into like a minute of video time. We would win the series. We won the series in five games. I didn't feel like playing this boring Toronto team that kind of just hit a bunch of floaters and Pascal Siakam stuff anymore. And well, that's really it. But wait until you see who we're matched up against in the second round. The Brooklyn Nets. We will be facing off against our borough rivals in the second round. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one or excited for the next one. And I'm out. Cut.